All right, and I'm joined by Sam Howard, goalkeeper at Union Omaha. Welcome to Who Gives a Who. Yeah, thanks, Luke. Thanks for having me. Excited uh, to, you know, have this talk and, and get things going as soon as we can. Yeah, no, it's definitely a, definitely a little bit different than what we should be doing today. Uh, you know, should be out there at Werner Park uh, watching watching Union Omaha uh, just completely thrash some Orlando City. But what we'll, uh, we'll do with you two. Uh, yeah, for sure. I know this was going to be our third win in a row, coming off a uh, you know Open Cup win too. You know, but you know, yeah, the uh, important thing is everybody is you know staying healthy, and when we're kind of all in this together, right? So you know, hopefully we'll yeah. be out there as soon as we. can. Yeah, no, we're uh, obviously you no know, keeping in quarantine, which has got to be tough. Uh, I mean, you got signed, uh, as I recall, about the day before uh, the season got put on hiatus. Uh, have you had a chance to, you know, get to get to hang out with some teammates, um, get to build some chemistry with them? Yeah. Um, so I so I was here for about a week uh, uh, before that too, in the week leading up to the Creighton game, and kind of got to know everybody then. And uh, you know, it kind of had some mutual friends with some of the guys, so you know that kind of helped in, in getting to know everybody. And then um, yeah, you know, we went on that Minnesota trip, and, and you know, I. Kind of got to know some guys a little bit more than two. And then um, we're all kind of living in the same area in Blackstone. Um, so we'll, you know, kind of see each other, hang out, you know, socially distance, of course. But, you know, uh, we're still seeing each other. The team's, being, you know, doing really just a great job with us in terms of uh, we have Zoom calls pretty much every day, um, workouts and meetings and stuff like that. And then, um, you know, they're still providing meals for us, too. So we'll kind of see each other, you know, kind of during the day. Um, but yeah, it's definitely been a weird situation. You know, I, I, I like you said, I, I got to Omaha, signed officially um, on Thursday after the Minnesota United game. And then Friday was kind of the day that we heard, you know, we weren't going to train that day. We weren't going to train that weekend and we're kind of waiting and see. And then we've been in that same kind of holding pattern, you know, for, I guess, what is this, the sixth week now? So, yeah, it's definitely been a, a strange situation to kind of move to a new city and, and instantly kind of be quarantined and, and cut off. But, you know, I've been been staying active, staying busy, and, and just trying to make the best of the time. No, we're, we're definitely glad to have you on board and everything because, I mean, that, that was the one, one position where, you know, for the longest period of time we had nobody, and now we've got two fantastic goalkeepers. So we're really glad to have you on board, Sam. Uh, yeah. What one thing I'd like to like to see he, uh, hear from you know all the players is what what would you be doing today on you know getting ready for for kickoff you know get leading up to that like what what's your what's your routine? Yeah. So yeah. my my usual game day routine is is I'll wake up you know I'll try to sleep in a little bit um, but uh, I have a, I have a dog a three year old pit Akita mix named Cosmo so he usually wakes me up at around nine or so to go for a walk. Uh, and be let out. So we'll usually go for, uh, you know, a decent walk in the morning. Um, I'll come back, have breakfast, kind of stretch and relax. Um, if we're playing on, you know, a Saturday or Sunday, usually there's there's good soccer on TV. So I'll, I'll put on Premier League games or, or whatever. Um, and then, uh, you know, just kind of just kind of hang out, you know, through the afternoon. Don't, don't really want to do too much during the day, kind of just trying to save myself for the game. Um, but, you know, I, I usually try to eat around – I'll try to eat again after breakfast around three or three hours or so before the game uh, and have, you know, kind of a high-protein, high-carb meal um, so I'm ready to be kind of flying around once we get out there. And then, yeah, get to the stadium. Usually like to get to the stadium about, you know, two hours to 90 minutes before kickoff and, and kind of go through my routine. Um, that's, you know, a little bit of visualization. I'll try to kind of like find a quiet spot and, you know, maybe just sort of, you know, maybe stretch or meditate a little bit on my own away from everybody else. And, and then we kind of usually get together around an hour or so before the match and, and have a team meeting and then head out for warm ups around 35, 40 minutes before the game starts. So that's kind of my, my pregame routine. And that, that's probably one of the better ones I've heard. You know, <laughs> probably more, more chill, you know, you, you, Getting yourself, uh, getting yourself built up for it. So that that's good to hear. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely a, sl a slow build, and then try to peak around seven o'clock. <laughs> well, you know, we really hope that we get to see uh, see how that goes. Really hope we get to meet your meet your dog soon. 
uh, you know, I don't yeah, know. I, know. I, gotta, I gotta get them here. I, I came out here super quick and, you know, was kind of hoping to be able to go back home to, uh, to pick them up, you know, after a week or so. And, and now he's with my parents and my sister and they're taking good care of him and looking out for him, but, you know, hopefully he can get out here quick and make an appearance on the podcast at some point. Well, definitely, definitely looking forward to that. But thanks for joining us, Sam. I uh, really anticipate, you know, really looking forward to seeing you on the field. All right, Luke, thanks for having me. All right.